This is not something to be taken lightly, so you got to prevent it before it gets that worse. Ryan and our first alert meteorologists have been warning you of this heat wave for several days now, giving you time to hydrate before it settles. Doctors say it's quite difficult to catch up once you're behind, so drink and eat wisely. But what exactly does that consist of? Our Blair Caldwell joins us in studio to break down what you should be eating and drinking to stay hydrated in the heat. Blair. Well, we all know that not all liquids are created equal. Some of them are better at keeping you hydrated than others, but that applies to some food too. But do you know what you is, could be dehydrating you, causing danger in this heat? A local doctor says that's important. Most love the sunshine, from playing outside to exercising and more. But in the heat, first alert meteorologists are calling for, you need to reach for your water first, because most experience dehydration overnight. It's very important to stay on top of hydration while they're working. It's not like, okay, uh, let me drink all the water later after I go home. You cannot do that. You need to do it on the minute to minute basis. Medical professionals say water is great, but for those who sweat a lot, it's important that you're replenishing what you're losing. They say sports drinks or coconut water can give you the electrolytes you need. It's very important. Otherwise, your electrolytes will get deranged and that causes a whole gamut of problems like seizures, convulsions, and uh, you can have confusion because of that. They say with the expected heat, you should avoid caffeine and alcohol. Both dehydrate you. Another thing to keep in mind is that some medications dehydrate you as well. Doctors say patients taking water pills like those for high blood pressure or congestive heart failure need to be alert. They are on pills which take out the excess water from the body. So they need to be extra careful because dehydration is coming their way because they're already losing it through the pill. And if they even a slightest of an imbalance can cause a lot of issues for them. Some of the symptoms of dehydration are increased thirst, dry mouth, decreased or dark urine, dizziness, dry skin and more. Doctors say if you do notice that you're not feeling normal, you should contact a medical professional right away. Doctors say in this heat, you should be having water and a sports drink with you at all times. They also say it's best to eat foods with high water contents like fresh fruit, salad and more. Reporting in studio tonight, Blair Caldwell, WTOL 11 on Fox 36.